It's 2018 and 22 year old music director Cole Bennett was just handed $5,000, his first real budget. It was for a song called Lucid Dreams for a then unknown unsigned rapper Juice World. And while they had worked together a few months prior for his song All Girls Are The Same, nobody knew just how big everything was about to get. Cole had never worked with a budget before, never hired a DP, and never written a treatment. For the last five years, he had built his brand off of going in without a plan and seeing what happened. And that was his special sauce, that feeling of throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks. So with this budget, he took his team to Home Depot and they built the one solid idea they had for the video, a makeshift hole in the floor. And while that might not seem like much, 928 million views later, it cemented Lyrical Lemonade as being the voice of rap's next generation and the next evolution in music videos. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. To get the full picture, let's go back to 2013. Cole launched Lyrical Lemonade in his senior year of high school to talk about the bubbling Chicago hip hop scene where artists like Chance the Rapper, Vic Mensa, and Chief Keef were starting to take off. Being from Plano, Illinois, a rural suburb of Chicago, Cole would go into the city as much as possible to go to shows, bringing his camera along with him and filming recaps to post on his YouTube channel. And the more he showed up to, the more he would get around with him eventually building the name up enough to get in with the artist he had looked up to for years. The Chicago scene was tight knit with many embracing Lyrical Lemonade through the live shows Cole would put on, but everything would change when he linked up with Famous Dex for his Hit Him With It music video. Cole had been putting out music videos to varying degrees of success for years, but this is the video where it seems Cole really found his voice. Which is funny because in a conversation with Complex about his come up, he reflected on shooting and editing the whole video in a night. And while that might sound like a fast turnaround when working with one of the biggest artists he had collaborated with to that point, the rawness of the video complemented the rawness of the song perfectly. And it obviously resonated with the video racking up over 21 million views. This marked a shift for Cole with him branching out of Chicago and embedding himself in the SoundCloud rap scene. Working with artists like Smoke Perp and Lil Pump with many attributing the music video he put together as main drivers in their early success. And with their success came Cole's with each 100 million view expanding his opportunities and beginning to make him indispensable in an artist's rollout. 2016 to 2017 was a crazy time to be a rap fan, with more and more unknown MCs becoming household names overnight by just recording songs in their bedroom. And Cole's approach to filmmaking matched their energy better than anyone else could. Artists weren't going to Cole to get the cleanest, high budget videos they could. They were going to Cole to put out a quick and dirty video together that had a voice and a feel. No amount of money would have made his videos better and even though his budgets and teams would expand in the coming years, the idea of picking up a camera and seeing what happens led to his biggest successes and most iconic shots. It's easy to look back on the SoundCloud rap era as a bunch of kids with colorful hair and face tattoos screaming in the mic about taking drugs and being sad, but it marked a turning point in the music industry and the importance of labels. Before the internet, artists were developed behind the scenes, pitched to radio, and promoted on TV and media tours to generate buzz and build a career. But now, anybody with a passion and an idea could put their art out into the world. And while artists like Juice World and Lil Pump represented the music side of it, Cole was single-handedly challenging the way people approached music videos. These songs were getting put together in an hour with artists like Juice freestyling most of their music to begin with, and the visual aspect needed to match that energy. Pre-Lucid Dreams, Lyrical Lemonade, and post-Lucid Dreams, Lyrical Lemonade are two completely different companies. And even though Cole was behind both of them, the importance of a Cole Bennett video in developing an artist became crucial after Juice World. Artists like Lil Skies, Lil Mosey, Blueface, Lil Tecca, and Jack Harlow exist in one way or another because of their Lyrical Lemonade videos. And with their successes as small artists, it was only a matter of time until larger artists with bigger budgets started coming to Cole. His work on Eminem's 2020 single Godzilla led to Cole's second biggest video of all time. And even though there were over 20 people on the team, an obvious plan, and cameos from Mike Tyson and Dr. Dre, you can clearly see his vision at work here. His company wasn't selling out by working with one of the biggest artists of all time, they trusted Cole to put together a lyrical lemonade video, not a music video with a trendy name attached to it. It has all the hallmarks of what made his early videos so special, and his off-the-wall zany approach to music videos is what makes him unique. So even though Cole takes on a giant video every once in a while for artists like Blink-182 or for the Mario movie, the videos for songs like Lil Yachty's Poland that are thrown together in an afternoon with no plan still work the best. His ability to capture the feeling that made the SoundCloud era so special, of getting together with friends and just making stuff without worrying about plans and labels and money is what made his video so special in the first place and even though the budgets have gotten bigger the impact of lyrical lemonade sent a shockwave through the industry that changed it forever thanks so much for watching consider subscribing if you like the video and i'll see you in the next one